알로하 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. I'm Captain o s u n g u n Defense Attaché for the Consulate General of the Republic of Korea. I will be your Master of Ceremonies today. I am greatly honored to be part of today's commemoration ceremony here at Punchbowl. 7,579 sons of Hawaii was sent to Korea through Mr. Herbert Schreiner, Mr. Tommy Tara, and other Korean War veterans joining us today. Present arms! Their mission to identify the unknowns who are interred here at Punch Bowl has been in full swing, specifically with the unknowns from the Korean War. All of those unknowns from this war. Bringing closure, hopefully, I mean they can't hear me? But if we remember, they're not forgotten. So again, thank you all for coming and enjoy the ceremony. Thanks. To the Korean Consulate General over the years, also, Punchbowl has been a symbol. We bless, we glorify, and praise thee. Have mercy upon us, thy children who are gathered here this morning. You have graced us with the visit today for the 72nd anniversary of the Korean War. And do we as a consul of Hawaii, and all the others who are here with us in person who are in spirit. So, Korea remains in rough step with the US and other partners nations in navigating the global challenges in the 21st century, carrying on the legacy of the Korean War veterans. Distinguished former leadership from the Republic of Korea, retired generals. Thank you for coming today. And the conflict that began officially 72 years ago today. Now, we will commence the brief presentation. <laughs> U.S. Army Pacific, Major General Reginald Nee. Submarine Force Pacific, Rear Admiral Jeffrey Jeffrey Jemai. U.S. Coast Guard Training Group, Rear Admiral Ahn Kang Yin, Commander. Former Deputy Commander of Command Forces uh, Command. The National Unification Advisory Council of Hawaii Chapter, Mr. Francis Clark. Now, we will present the Ambassador of Peace Medal from Korea's Ministry of Patriots and Veterans Affairs.
following up, uh, we have a special musical session to add to the occasion. Alex! 